California rental laws govern both lease agreements and evictions. With renters accounting for nearly half of the state's population, it's important to know the rights and obligations of both the landlord and the tenant. In this video, we'll give you an overview of what the state law says about lease agreements, required disclosures, security deposits, and evictions. War eForms the largest online database of fillable legal forms. Stick around to grab a fillable lease agreement or eviction notice at the end of this video. Let's dive in by first answering the question, what is a lease agreement? A lease agreement is a rental contract between a landlord and a tenant. Depending on the type of agreement, whether it's a month to month lease, a standard lease agreement or a rent to own, both the landlord and tenant are bound to the specific terms regarding the length of the lease, termination and more. Because a lease agreement is legally binding once it's signed, breaking the contract can result in hefty fines or even legal action. Now we'll move on to required disclosures. In California, the landlord is required to include a total of 12 disclosures in the lease agreement, including how much rent can be increased according to state law, prior existence of bed bugs on site, risks of mold and lead based paint, active demolition permits, registered sex offenders in the area, smoking policy, and more. Potential tenants should thoroughly read all of the disclosures prior to signing the lease agreement. For a comprehensive list of all required and optional disclosures, visit the link in the description below. Now, let's take a look at security deposit laws. California law limits the amount that a landlord can charge for a security deposit to three times the monthly rent if the rental is furnished and two times the monthly rent if it is unfurnished. The landlord is legally required to return the full security deposit to the tenant within 20 days of them moving out of the property. Any deductions made must be provided in an itemized statement for the tenant. Lastly, let's go over the basics of California's eviction laws. In California, a landlord may evict a tenant under the following requirements. Non-payment of rent. If the tenant is late on rent, the landlord can issue a three-day notice to pay or quit. This gives the tenant three days to pay rent in full along with any penalties or vacate the property. This notice can be issued anytime within one year after the non-payment of rent. Non-compliance. If the tenant breaks any portion of the lease other than late rent, the landlord may give the tenant three days to comply with the lease. If they do not cure their violation, the tenant must vacate the property. However, if the notice is considered incurable due to repeat offense or an illegal act, the tenant must move out within three days. Termination. If the landlord wants to terminate a month to month lease for reasons other than non-payment or non-compliance, they must provide a 30 days notice to the tenant if their tenancy was less than a year or 60 days notice if it was more than a year. On the other hand, a tenant is legally protected under state law when breaking a lease due to being a victim in an act of domestic violence, stalking, human trafficking, elder abuse, or violent crime. Want to learn more about California rental laws? Visit the link in the video description for a comprehensive breakdown on all things related to lease agreements, evictions, and more.